Hello viewers, welcome to the first story of the BIM modeling course. In this course, the first tutorial will be basically seeing the interface of the FreeCAD. So let's begin with a new file. From file, new file. So you can see a blank screen here with the purple color. So here are a set of workbenches for the FreeCAD. We'll be following basically two workbenches here sorry three arc draft and the sketcher so let's begin with the slab object first from here we can set the working plane let the working plane be xy and these are the different elevations front top from here we can check the grid on or off so basically we can make a slab directly from the structure object here and just give its dimensions here the length, width, height and its points location in the global axis but basically the approach that I follow and I will recommend you is uh, using sketcher workbench you can also use the draft tools here but basically there are certain sets of constraints that basically you cannot use using the draft tools and the snapping can be a sometimes problem for you you need some customized snappings and customized location of the objects so the very first step we need to follow here is open the sketcher workbench it's a very powerful parametric tool we can make parametric objects here so here just click the create a new sketch option here set the orientation to xy plane and set ok now we have new grid system here and in xy plane here are sets of tools similar to like draft tools line point rectangle and here are the constraints that you can apply to the lines and the geometry so let's get a slab a rectangle shape let the length be around 25 meters and the breadth be 20 meters so here we have our rectangle you see we can move here so but it's not fully constrained you can see in the solver messages box under constraint sketch with two degrees of freedom so here are two degrees of freedom we have this axis here so what we can do just click on these two points of the edges and click on the axis so we can set a constraint here named create a symmetry constraint between two points with respect to a line so it will create a symmetry when we click on this sorry, just first select the points and the line with respect to we have the symmetry and then click now you see they are symmetrical if we increase the size of this length of this line suppose to 15 meters so they will just decrease or increase in an equal proportion from both the sides so let this be 25 meters only in a similar way let's constrain this line also so you can see we have a green geometry here so we are done with this and later on also you can just change the dimension and obtain a customized uh, size of the, of the object let's close this now we'll go to the arc workbench so we have the sketch here and to move in this area you can just simply scroll your mouse forward and backward and remember one thing just right click on the screen make sure the navigation styles that you're using is touchpad now the touchpad if you want to pan just hold your shift key and just move your mouse you can just make the panning here and if you want to just rotate and orbit in the field hold the alt key and just again move your mouse you can see you can move in space so let the top view be active just press the sketch button the press uh, sketch object and then click on the create a structure object so as you see we have a structure here 
now we have we can change its properties from here let the height be around the depth basically that we need 150 mm let the normal normal basically means in which direction does it want to make its changes so we want it to be in the upward direction so one so now the height that will change it will go upward or in downward direction now we have role here these roles are basically helpful when we export the object in the ifc format so we can make the role here like slab so we're done with this so now you see we have a slab here now next step and tutorial that we'll see how to make the walls see you in the next story guys Thank you for watching.